Hi, my name is Caroline, and in this video, I'll show you how I created these beautiful glass etched wine glasses. Now I'm showing you footage from a previous video where I made individually etched wine glasses using an X-Acto knife and a self-healing mat. The most common question I received from that video was how to make sets of glasses instead of having to go through this process for every single glass. So I am going to show you in this video how to make a set of hand etched wine glasses. Materials used in this project are, uh, I have a set of glasses I'll be etching in this tutorial. So now I'm going to use this as an example. I did paint the bottom of this with chalkboard paint and I have a video of how I did that in another video and I'll link over to that as well too. Uh, your specialized scrapbooking um, hole puncher. Now this can be found in the scrapbooking section of your local craft store. Uh, the etching cream, this is Armour etching cream. This is contact paper we'll be using. A ruler, um, a stencil brush, any, any dry um, stiff brush will do. A pen, uh, scissors, and some gloves as well to protect ourselves from this etching cream. I start my project by cutting a strip down my contact paper. I look at my specialized hole puncher here to see how big it is and I want to make sure I have good margins around the cutout of my hole puncher. So I'm going to cut this strip down right here and I'm just going to mark it with my pen. So this is really the only thing you need your pen for, just to have a line, know where you're going to cut. And we're just going to cut down one strip right here on our contact paper. This will work well since you're doing a set of wine glasses instead of just one, as in my previous video. And also in this video, I don't use a self-healing mat. So I think that was a limitation in a previous, in my previous videos that I used a self-healing mat. All right, so I've cut down my strip. Now I'm going to cut down, figure out how much, and I want to make sure I have good margins around all of my stamps. So I think I'll cut about two inches from the edge and that will be the standard for my stamp. So you don't want it to make it too big um, because it'll, it'll start curling around your wine glass, but you don't want to make it too small. So I'm just going to draw this line right here and then we'll just continue doing this all the way down. But for right now, I'm just going to cut our one and then this is the easy part here. We take our hole puncher and we just line it up. We punch through the contact paper. And as you can see, it's a nice little fleur de lis left over. And then we've got our design here. So let's peel off contact paper. And also here you can adjust if you think you cut out too much contact paper and you wanna cut it down to something smaller. You can do that too, but you do need to have enough contact paper that you, you don't accidentally get your cream in outside of your design of your choice. And the goal here is to get this design flat on your glass. Don't want any bubbles around your pattern the main concern and then you can so you start from the middle and then you push out and then having bubbles outside that aren't connected to your main design that is fine because it's rounded you're not going to get it perfect you just don't want any bubbles that seep from the design itself in this step we have our gloves on and we have our firm brush and we have our etching cream out and we will just start uh, putting a good thick amount of etching cream all over 
our glass. Here is a photo of the set of wine glasses that I worked on for this project. I cut out all of my contact paper and placed it on the wine glasses before moving on to the next step. Now here is an example of the amount, the thickness of the glass etching cream that I needed to put on in order to achieve that beautiful design. I allowed the etching cream to sit on my glass for about five to 10 minutes. We have waited five to 10 minutes for our glass etching cream to work. And now here's the easy part. We will wash it off. I'm just taking a, a brush, just washing, washing off and I'm just rinsing it completely underneath the sink. And then we'll just peel off. So we'll give this a good clean washing and they'll be ready to use. Here is my finished set of Florida Lee wine glasses and champagne flutes. Thanks for watching.